Buongiorno, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video I am preparing now for a long, long time and I'm so excited about it because all of the fragrances that I'm going to talk about today are extremely viral. I mean, people go crazy about these fragrances and I'm so, so excited to test them and tell you my first impression on the most viral Middle Eastern fragrances. So today's video is only a first impression and I have to be honest, I'm not like the biggest fan of Middle Eastern fragrances. Uh, I have some, like two maybe, or three, and mm, I was never a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan of the price tag, I have to tell you. And I get it that people go crazy because you get um, great value for your money with these fragrances. But what bothers me with Middle Eastern fragrances in general is the base. I hate the base. It's always taking the fragrance in a direction that I don't like. Most of them are very similar when it comes to the base. So I feel like they use the same ingredient. But I would love to be proven wrong because, yes, the price tag of these fragrances is just unbeatable. The most expensive one from the ones that I got was maybe 60 or 70 euros for 100 ml. And given the price of the designer fragrances recently, you can't beat that. So... Without further ado, let's jump in. I just realized actually that <laughs> almost all the fragrances are from Latafa. So it seems like Latafa is doing a great job or maybe has a great marketing team. I don't know. But yeah, most of the fragrances that I have here are from Latafa. Let's start with two. This is Musammam. This is the white intense version. And this is Teriyok. And I am starting with these because Musammam, as you can see from like the, the packaging, means um, venomous, poisonous, and Teriyab is actually the antidote. <laughs> so I wonder if it's like on purpose or just a coincidence. Let's start with Musammam. Now, I definitely have mm, watched some videos on these fragrances, but honestly, I don't remember anything. So it's a true first impression. Wow. It opens like this. I love this opening, by the way. Not sure about the bottle. But anyway, all these Middle Eastern fragrances come in over the top packaging. But the packaging is definitely in tune with the name. Okay. This is spicy. And a little bit unisex. I didn't expect that. But it's developing quite quickly. It's definitely light when it comes to Middle Eastern fragrances. I'm not getting a lot of a woody base, which usually is the case. It's now getting a little bit floral, maybe orange blossom, something like a light floral touch. And there is a sharpness that I definitely get from the spices. It's a very, very strong spicy note here. Maybe some cardamom. And yes, now I am getting a little bit of a woody note. Of course, it has to have something woody. It's not wood, for sure. So I'm guessing it would be like sandalwood. It's the usual. Honestly, as a first impression, I don't feel like this fragrance deserves that much hype. Too spicy for my liking. And it lacks creaminess. Mm, but it can be totally different on skin, of course. These kind of fragrances really develop differently on skin. So I have the blotter here. At the end of this video, I will give a sniff to all the fragrances again. And tell you my final thoughts. For now, mm, not my thing. Not my thing at all. And it is definitely unisex, in my opinion, at least for now. Let's get to the antidote. Turiak. This one, I would guess, would be more feminine because also of the color of the bottle. I don't know. Love the presentation of this one. This is beautiful. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Again, you have the snake <laughs> in the top and over the top bottle. Okay. Right from the start, I, I love this one much more. There's cumin in this one. It's sweet. There is definitely vanilla, 
it has a gourmand touch and something nasty <laughs> I have to say in the background that I don't like okay it's getting stronger this nasty note um, I don't want to be offensive but it's almost like body odor smell in the background I often get this with cumin so i'm really curious if there is cumin in this fragrance mm, they are just clashing this gourmand note with the older background mm. i'm so sorry to to say that but it smells like someone who wants to cover his sweat with perfume this is how this fragrance smells now to be honest sometimes i get this feel and sometimes no so not sure how this one will develop on skin i'm liking the gourmand touch because it's sweet but not overpowering it has almost a fine powderiness to it and now i'm getting a little bit of a like a floral touch this fragrance every time i smell it i'm getting something different so it's definitely one that i have to wait for the like total dry down tell you my final thoughts let's look up the notes so you have in the top caramel bitter almond pink pepper apricot apricot ah yeah now <laughs> that i'm reading again i'm getting a caramel definitely you have in the mid honey rhubarb white flowers and rose honestly the rhubarb i'm not getting at all i am getting a floral touch but not a specific flower and in the base you have leather could be what i'm smelling in the background vanilla musk vetiver and labdanum hmm. vanilla definitely uh, leather i would say this is what i'm smelling as the o maybe like mix, mixing these notes together gives me this feeling yeah it's so strange this one it just comes and goes gives me different like notes and different impression every time okay i am seeing here that people uh say this reminds them of la belle please please 129 people say it smells like la belle guys be serious no this is not la belle at all guys this is not a dupe for la belle it's definitely a different fragrance but uh, but i'm so curious about this fragrance so i'm going to spray it on my skin and leave it till the end of the video so we shall see how it will develop on my skin now let's get to another latafa fragrance and this is yara they have a lot of flankers but i feel like the flankers that got the most hype is the original one the pink one this is also one that i'm so excited to test because it like looks feminine girly you know hmm. yeah pink bottle definitely suits this fragrance it's a girly flirtatious young fragrance it has this sweet fruitiness almost candy like a floral touch and it's just lovely this is a lovely fragrance it puts a smile on your face it's really nice Hmm, this one i definitely get the hype yeah it's just so bright and fruity and girly mm, it's difficult for someone to hate this fragrance maybe it's not for you like as a scent profile but it's not a fragrance that you would hate like it's not offensive it's not too potent unless you overspray of course mm, it has this candy sweetness with a powdery aspect to it. it reminds me of like i don't know you know these candy carts this is how the friends reminds me of like you're going to like this carnival or maybe there is like this candy cart this is how this fragrance smells or it reminds me of it's so 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 happy so let's check the notes on this one you have in the top orchid heliotrope and tangerine you have in the mid gourmand accord tropical fruits and in the base you have vanilla musk and sandalwood yeah definitely the vanilla the fruitiness everything and of course it must be the heliotrope that gives it a little bit of this powdery this powdery aspect is really lovely i just hope that the sandalwood and the musk in the base is not the regular 
and a musk that is in the Middle Eastern fragrances because otherwise it will definitely ruin this fragrance. This is a win if you love sweet, like fruity fragrances. This is a win for me. I like this one. The next one has a bottle that I actually like. So this is Ajwat again from Latafa. Yeah, this is a bottle that I like. <laughs> it has this wooden cap here it is an overdose of synthetic fruitiness now there is also the fruity touch in um how it's called yara but here it's very very synthetic there is definitely a rosy touch and a woody base now i get that people love this fragrance if you love like these like people love also Ekbapura, which is <laughs> like a fragrance that i definitely almost hate because it's just too synthetic mm, so i feel like yeah i get that people really enjoy this fragrance and hype it up because uh it is a scent profile that a lot of people seem to enjoy i personally don't so mm, it's not bad but uh, i don't know not deserving that hype that it got so let's see the notes you have in the top fruity notes course in the middle you have rose and jasmine i would say it's more rose and in the base you have vanilla musk amber and cedar to me it's a fruity accord that is just too synthetic yeah and i have also the feeling about the synthetic musk here so i don't know uh, people say it smells like roses vanilla from mancera I never tested that fragrance. It definitely reminds me also of like these Zara perfumes. Oh, Zara fragrances, not the fresh ones, the more deeper. I don't remember now the name, Red Temptation, all these. They have the same base. I'm like walking in the street, I can definitely smell who has a Zara perfume because the base is almost the same in all of them and it really shines in the, like the dry down and it is potent. So it reminds me of that. So I guess, yes, I get the hype because it's, again, a scent profile that a lot of people enjoy. The price tag, definitely, you can beat it. But I will, I don't know. I like it and I wouldn't recommend it. It just smells for me cheap. Sorry. Next, I have two fragrances that are said to be a Duke of Angels. Share from Kirian. This is Chambra from Latava. And this is Sharaf Blend by Zimaya. Let's start with Sharaf Blend. <laughs> I'm also curious about this one because ah, oh, okay, it opens like this because actually this is my family name, Sharaf, which means honor. Oh, 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 what a representation! I mean, you can see right from the start that they are aiming for uh, angels <laughs> share with this bottle let me first spray angel angels share on a blotter so i can compare it angels share is one of the fragrances that i enjoy but i don't own and if it wasn't for the price tag it's definitely a fragrance that i would have got and have already my my fragrance collection for quite a while mm. oh my god this is very very close to angel share it's just how can i say it? it's less rounded and the spicy touch it's a little bit amped up here mm, but the fragrance like if i smell this fragrance and i didn't know that it is a dupe actually of angel's share i would definitely love it and buy it it is so so beautiful but it is a scent profile that I love, so it's no surprise that I'm liking this one. Mm, the spiciness here is just more complex than um, Angel's Share. If I compare these two and I smell them by side, side by side, I will definitely tell you which one is the most expensive one. <laughs> it's Angel's Share. I, I don't know. I associate um, well-blended, rounded fragrances more with expensive one but does it deserve like the difference in price <laughs> definitely not i'm loving this one much more oh my god this is love 
love loves this fragrance is not going <laughs> anywhere i'm loving it there is almost a sticky honey sweetness in it the other difference that i note doesn't have like this boozy touch that is an angel's share this is phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal this fragrance is 10 out of 10 guys it deserves much more hype I love it, love it, love it. This is definitely a win for me. There is also some vanilla and ambery. Oh, delicious. I'm in love. <laughs> As you can see, I am in love. Let's see the notes. So you have in the top dates, nutmeg and saffron. It's definitely the nutmeg that also makes a difference here. It's not cinnamon, but I actually also get some cinnamon. So maybe the notes are not right. Uh, it's the sticky things that I mentioned as dates. Honestly, saffron, I'm not getting much. Actually, I would have loved a more predominant saffron. No. Really would give this one um, depth, complexity. Not that this is not a complex experience, but just gives it um, a dimension that I enjoy. So you have in the mid also vanilla, praline, and tuberose. No tuberose that I can detect here. Definitely get the vanilla. Praline, yes, now that I am reading the notes, I'm getting it. And in the base, you have tonkabine, amberwood, benzoin, and musk. Please don't be like this typical cheap musk. Yeah, I hope. I hope not, but this is so, so promising. I don't think that this fragrance is going anywhere. This is staying in my collection. Now, let's compare Angel's share with Khamra from Latafa. I have also the Kahwa one, which is more of a coffee take on this one. People who smelt both of them enjoyed the coffee one more. Let's see. Okay, here is the presentation of the fragrance. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's already holding down love this presentation i have to say let's see if this one can beat sharaf blend hmm. <laughs> this is gorgeous I, I really can't decide which one i love better like sharaf blend has more of something like bush Sarai from uh, atelier des or maybe because of the dates note and while this one is more like Wajan from Parfum de Marly, not that these are similar fragrances. I'm just saying like the vibe, the direction this fragrance is going in. Mm. Ah, guys, guys. <laughs> ah, oh my God. This is a find. Really, these two fragrances are definitely worth the hype. Now, if I have to compare Angel's share with Hamra, it's more the Maya uh, Sharaf blend that is similar to Angel's Share, in my opinion, because it has almost the same depth, not 100%. Neither of them is like 100% dupe. For now, I'm liking both of them. So let's see the notes. On the top notes, you have cinnamon. Of course, the cinnamon here is just beautiful. <laughs> Of cinnamon, nutmeg, and bergamot. You have in the mid dates praline, tuberose, and mahonial. And in the base, you have vanilla, tonka bean, amberwood, mill, benzoin, and a kegel wood. I would have guessed that this fragrance is a little bit more complex, honestly. Mm, it's getting better and better and better, and I'm just in love, in love, in love, in love with both of them. This is definitely, again, a 10 out of 10 fragrance worth the hype worth your money and i would definitely pay more money for this fragrance it's so good so good now let's get to khambra kahwa very very similar representations just more brown kahwa means coffee i have great expectations because um coffee would go very well with this space like spicy ambery okay i get the coffee but it's more fresh here so maybe it's the opening. Um, first impression, I'm loving the original one <laughs> for now. But it looks like they changed a lot. It just has this coffee and it's almost like coffee pudding. 
I don't know. It's nice, but not my favorite, I have to say. So let's see the notes. So you have in the top here cinnamon, cardamom, and ginger. This explains why I find it a little bit fresh here. In the middle, you have the praline, you have candied fruits, you have white flowers, and in the base, you have vanilla, coffee, tonka bean, benzo, and amas. I would say this is an ambery gourmand coffee fragrance. I can't just shake it. It smells like coffee mixed with chocolate pudding. Don't get me wrong. This deserves all the hype because it's, again, a beautiful fragrance. I like coffee. Don't get me wrong. But in fragrances, it doesn't like it. It's not a note that I am particularly drawn to. So between the two, I definitely like the original one more. But this one deserves all the hype. If you wear it around me, I will definitely compliment you because it's a beautiful scent. Nothing to complain about it. So another hit. The two remaining fragrances are both from Swiss Arabian. I have here Sharaf Oud Tanka, and this is Essence of Casablanca. Uh, I had Casablanca at one point and I decluttered it because I have also La Danza delle Libellule from Nobile 1942, which I prefer to that one because at the end I got this, you know, again, woody base that I didn't like in Casablanca. It wasn't off putting, but since I had already La Danza delle Libellule, I didn't need Casablanca. So I am going to start with Sharaf Oud Tanka. This is a beautiful bottle. I've never tested Sharaf Oud because it was a dupe of Oud Bouquet, which I currently don't have, but I used to have, and I just don't like Oud Bouquet. So it's not for me. So why, you know, buy a dupe of a fragrance that you already don't like? But I heard great stuff about this flanker in particular. This is gourmand almond, like an almond paste, like marzipan. Oh, impressed, impressed. I love almonds. I love almonds so much. Mm. Oh, God, it's just beautiful, guys. It's, it's so beautiful. Marzipan with vanilla. Oh, oh my God. It's mouth watering. It's mouth watering. It's so, so beautiful. This fragrance is amazing. It's so good. Mm, has no wood. I can't smell any wood. So I am a little bit perplexed why it's called wood because I am not getting any at all. This is again a 10 out of 10, guys. This is going very well. So let's see the notes. Of course, you have in the top almond. Almond here is the predominant note. It's an almond fragrance. You have in the mid cinnamon. You definitely get a hint, but it's not a spicy fragrance. It's just powdery vanilla. It's just like marzipan with some vanilla powder on the top. Anyway, you have then uh, in the mid also Tunisian orange blossom and Turkish rose. And in the base, you have tanka, vanilla, and amber, which definitely the tanka is what gives it this like a powdery effect. Oh, so good. Let's see what people say this fragrance reminds them of. It reminds them, yes, definitely, I get it, yes. I would also say that from, at least from memory, it's very similar to Velvet Tonka. Actually, I have a um, sample of that fragrance. Let me go and get it and tell you. This is a straight dupe of Velvet Tonka, honestly. But I have to say, I am enjoying Sharaf Oud Tonka more. At least from paper. Again, I have to test this uh, on my skin and see, but get yourself Sharaf Oud Tonka if you love almonds. And it's not a gourmand that is overly sweet or, you know, not classy. This is a classy gourmand. I love this one. This gets, again, a 10 out of 10. Now, let's get to the last one, which will not be a surprise because I imagine it will be quite similar to the original one. But I am hoping for, you know, a different base. The thing is that I have to work from memory because since I've decluttered the original one, I don't remember anymore exactly how Casablanca smells like. Ah, I didn't show you the bottle. So this is the bottle. 
This is a new collection of Swiss Arabian. Oh, this Apple Note. Oh, I love it so much. Very similar to, if I, in my, at least in my memory of the original one, but I'm already detecting the base. Oh, no, 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 no. Please. It's, it's just a hint to now. So I am keeping an eye on this one. Let's see the note of the um, essence of Casablanca. You have grapes and apple in the top. You have patchouli and oris in the mid. You have moss, amber, vanilla, and balsamic notes. Is it a cheap mask or is it a balsamic note? I don't know. I fear, I fear it is the mask, like the cheap mask. I hope not. But I have to see for the dry down. It's like, even if the notes are different, but it just gives me the same feeling. It's just not as sweet, I would say. So, yeah, this is the difference that I at least remember. There is not this caramel uh, aspect that, I would guess a lot of people really loved in the original one. And having this one without a caramel note, maybe they would dislike it. Uh, and even if we talk about longevity, like the original one was great in longevity and sillage. And from paper, this one just doesn't give me a screamer. You know what I mean? So yeah, we shall see. Now I will smell all the fragrances again and do a ranking and tell you my final thoughts. Honestly, this was quite an easy ranking. Unfortunately, Musammam, I don't like. And it's quite masculine, I have to say, and I'm just not loving this fragrance. And I don't get the notes that are listed, honestly. So unless this one will do wonders on my skin, this is not recommended at all. This is just no. Teriyak, unfortunately. B.O. Uh, even on my skin, it's a little bit better, I have to say. But there's this nasty background. Like you are covering something smelly there. Not loving this one. Definitely um, don't get the hype at all. Next is Ajwad. As I said, it's cheap, synthetic notes that, like a fruity note that I don't like. But I would say it's a fragrance that I would recommend if you love fragrances like Herbacura, Zara fragrances, you would love. Now, the rest, I would highly recommend because I love all of them. Next, I would go with Yara. Oh, interesting. Happy fragrance. I don't know. It's the best way I can describe it. A happy, fruity, girly fragrance. This is just gorgeous. Uh, but total honesty, it's not a fragrance that I think I will keep in my collection. As you all know, I am creating my fragrance collection. And, and by the way, I have a declutter coming. I'm just waiting to film this video. And also, I have a haul, like not Middle Eastern fragrances, like normal Western fragrances that I want to film. And then I'm going to do definitely another declutter. I know I did a declutter recently, but as I said, I am creating my fragrance collection and I want to have space for everything. I don't want fragrances to be, you know, cramped in a space i cannot reach them or i don't see them uh, i want a nice aesthetically pleasing display of my fragrances so yeah definitely stay tuned for that video next i would go with swiss arabian uh essence of casablanca and maybe i am putting it here because i know the fragrance and it's similar to the original one and i'm just know it i don't know but it's a good fragrance uh, do i recommend it over the original one i would see if as i said the space will come through and also if it has like even a better performance than the original one otherwise i feel like there is no point of having both of them and even coming out with a uh, with an extra version anyway i digress next i will go with khamra kahwa oh it's so good it's getting better and better and better in the dry down. Just, just, just chef's kiss. My final three, I can even interchange. But there are some like little differences. This is why I am ranking them in this order. But let me tell you, all three are <sighs> loves, loves, loves for sure. On the third spot, we have Shaft Oud Tonka. Oh my God, I just love it love it love it love it it's so so good i have no words that says everything 
Uh, and the second spot, I will go with Hamra. With every penny, every hype you ever heard about this fragrance, every person who raved about it was right. This is gorgeous. But there is something just a little bit more special about Sharaf Blend Zamaya. And I'm not influenced by the name. I'm really liking this one just a tiny a little bit more. So good, so good. And both of them are unisex fragrances, by the way. I would definitely recommend them. So the winners are Sharaf Oud Tonka, Zemaya, Sharaf Blend, and Latafa Khamra. These three fragrances I would definitely, definitely recommend. And I feel like these will be complement magnets. By the way, all three, as you can see from the note structure, are winter fragrances. Actually, all of the fragrances that we have tested today are more of winter fragrances, except of Yara, I would say, and also Swiss Arabian uh, essence of Casablanca that are a little bit more, you know, fresher, so you can wear it during summer. The rest, I feel like, are more of winter fragrances. So I am so happy that I finally did this video. Guys, I had the idea of this video. I don't know how long. The problem with the Middle Eastern fragrances in general is that they have no samples. So usually I get a sample of a fragrance and then know if I like it or not. I am not a fan of blind buying fragrances in general. So the idea that I have to get a full bottle to do a review, I didn't like so much. There's maybe one fragrance that I really want to test from like Middle Eastern fragrances and that is Eclair. Yes, Eclair from Latafa. Like the name suggests it's quite a gourmand fragrance, but for now, like the gourmand touches in these fragrances, I definitely like. So, so curious about that fragrance. Let me in the comments down below. Is it like a really strict, heavy gourmand or is it like a nice, elegant gourmand? And that was my first impression on the most viral Middle Eastern fragrances. There are definitely more. And this video definitely encourages me to do a maybe a second one with more Middle Eastern fragrances. Let me in the comments down below also if you have any new suggestions that I should try for Middle Eastern fragrances. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload any new video. I will leave linked in the description down below a playlist of all my episodes on viral or hype fragrances. So also don't forget to check the description down below. Thanks all for watching and see you next time. Ciao.